Hello uh, and welcome to the first episode of uh, Hashtag Med Snippets. Um, my name is Andy Thomas, I'm the Managing Director of Cypher Medical Consultancy and one of our aims is to provide some educational content of uh, interest and little quirky things um, and other things such like on one of our blog pages. Uh, today we are going to look at using CPR feedback um, and I'm comparing an adult versus a child learning CPR for the first time but with the aid of CPR feedback. I've um, got a couple of short videos, um, a quick discussion and that'll be it really. As I say these are SMED snippets, they're intended to be five to ten minutes in length um, and just a quick area of medical interest. So without further ado we'll move on. So what we're going to look at first is a child using the feedback. Um, this child is actually my own daughter. She is nine years old, has not been taught CPR before. She kindly volunteered to come and have a play with uh, a mannequin and uh, she some other CPR things. Um, and what you'll see in the video is I've explained for approximately 30 seconds um, on how to do CPR and what to look for when the screen's giving you some feedback and we'll see how she performs. So as you can see there, the early doors, the child, nine-year-old, is achieving around about 3.5 to maybe it's four centimetres at times. She's getting a little bit of coaching as she's going on. And you can see there the device on the left-hand side is the depth, 3.5. Uh, the rate is in the middle and the release, for loss, the release is on the uh, right-hand side. So that was quite simply, so what we saw from that one is without minimum training, a child can achieve 3.5-ish uh, centimetres, which is not hitting the guidelines. Um, however, obviously, what I think we must remember with children in CPR is that it's about building their confidence up, making this a normal process for them, so when they are older, they can a, perform it better. Equally, if they did have to do something, then they would be achieving some level of effect. So we're going to move on to an adult um, who's had the same training so about a 30 second snapshot of what's going on and um, a little bit of briefing of, of how to go on and the adult now is going to perform CPR. So you can see there, really good, well achieved, right in the middle of the target ranges, and over here on in the end of the box here is the releasing very well as well. So the CPR feedback is helping maintain effective quality CPR. The machine also gives some audible prompts, which obviously will give the rescue without reassurance. And as you can see, so there was a good level of maintenance there on the um, the CPR, and um, that's somebody who's never achieved it before. And from clinical experience myself, I work as a critical care paramedic in the northeast of England. Um, I found sometimes when I've gone into houses and and used feedback devices that it's very easy and quick to teach a bystander who may have already been conducting CPR from telephone advice and um, putting the device on and them allowing that feedback does help them maintain a good level which obviously allows you to get on with some more clinical interventions. Um, so what's the point of this little snippet today? Um, to be honest it's an introduction to CPR feedback and a lot uh, published around in the media at the moment about teaching people CPR and it's all great stuff. But um, actually, the quality of CPR is equally as important. And I think um, with this on professional devices, as you've seen there, that was the uh, Zoll X series. Um, also, um, there's devices out there now in the, both the Zoll ranges um, that provide that kind of feedback on AEDs. Um, the AED3, for example, provides that live feedback, um, which is only going to help people who have maybe never done it before, who are going for a public access defibrillation, grab the device, get in some telephone advice, they'll have that visual prompts in the memorial prompts, and I think that will improve quality. Um, 
as we develop as a, as a nation trying to improve our CPR survival rates, the more we do to, to make that easier, the better, in my opinion. Um, and that's why we've just had this quick little uh, snippet today. So hopefully that was useful. And uh, thanks very much. Um, if you want to follow more med snippets in the future, then obviously feel free to uh, visit our website um, at www.cyphermedical.com. And there's a med snippets page on there under the education zone. Many thanks. <laughs>